you know won this race which Christoph won a couple years ago you know what was Christoph telling you about her going into this race what was sort of your confidence level well for Christoph's point of view he was saying John I think I like her more than the way you talk about her he said I like this Philly he said John she's been training well and she's improved with her training from her maiden win at Belmont and we were confident the way she was bred that she'd get further and she's a relaxed Philly by nature and she's a kind filly to be around and she's got lovely breeding with you know 40 years of engineering by the Phipps family so we've tapped into that and we're very happy that we've done that and grateful to have that opportunity. Uh, she had a great run at Belmont we knew this was a step up and he was very confident and we of course his owners are always a little apprehensive and uh, as it turned out he was right, and it was a great performance today. Was it the kind of thing after she broke her maiden first time out at Belmont, he said, okay, next stop, Kentucky Downs? Was that, because he loves his place. He does. He does. Like it, yeah. he does, he really does. You know, like all trainers, you know, when they have one that has won first time out, I mean, you have a little bit of the blue sky there, and you look at different options, but Kentucky Downs was always a part of Christoph's plan, and uh, up at Saratoga, he told me that, and as you say, he won the race before, so, you know, it's great for Christoph. He's such a great trainer. He's such a great guy. And uh, we're lucky to be part of his team. Terry, how did you become partners with John on this filly? Well, John and I have done business together. John, of course, is a, is a prominent bloodstock agent, and he has bought horses for me over the last dozen years. And we've had some success with uh, those horses. And then we've become friends, and then John bred this horse. And he invited me as uh, in as a potential partner. I'm guessing the goal will be the juvenile fillies turf, the Breeders' Cup. But do you have any sense on if she might run at Keeneland in between? Or that's a possibility. Or Belmont is a possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, she may need one more, another race, and we'll see how it goes. Have you all been to Kentucky Downs before? I have never been here. No. Well, I got to ask you what you think of it. Charming, very, very charming. It's spectacular. It's like a beautiful country fair. Yeah. People are in wonderful moods, wonderful track, and of course, great racing. Have you been here before? I haven't, but from the moment I stepped out of the car, the feel I got for it was just instant. I love the feel for this place. You know, you can have a bigger race course with bigger crowds and bigger facilities, but you can't capture, and I said this to Corey Johnson, you can't capture in a bottle what the atmosphere this track has. It's really relaxed, it's special, everybody's very interested in the racing. And it's fun. And like, you know, in the racing, we need to sort of stay focused on the idea that racing is a sport and should be fun. And it just emanates from the walls here that this track offers all of that. I'm just making a guess here that you're from Ireland originally. I'm from Ireland and this track actually, <laughs> yes. this racetrack, you know, there are some similar racetracks in Ireland with this here. And, uh, you know, the undulations we wouldn't be concerned about. And actually it was explained to me that they were more severe than they are. Um, you know, I was just saying to Terry that Epsom Downs, where the Epsom Derby is held, would be far more undulating than here. And, uh, but just a lovely, lovely course. And you're made to feel relaxed and very at home.